M0FXB, so you want to fit a new battery in your open spot 3. Well, this is what you get from Shark RF SRF OSB BAT. So let's just open it, it's literally just been delivered. Have a look and then watch the rest of the video for installation. Oh, I see how they do it now. So they don't just give you the the um, the battery, they actually give you a new back because it is stuck down quite well and you'll see in the video the next part of the video me installing a, you know the uh, a basically the same battery that I took off but it's the same procedure so it does come with a new back so I can see why it costs more this is about 50 pound delivered but it, it, it's literally plug and go then because the hardest part was unsticking the battery so watch the rest of the video M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's change the battery on an open spot three. So let's just uh, pull it apart here. Now, first thing to do is turn it off. Now, the battery has lasted about two years, so we're just gonna hold down the on button until it goes quiet. There you are, it's gone quiet. So now, we're just I find it's easier just to pull it from the side. Like I said, be careful, don't pull too hard, but it will go, see that? Just lifts like so making sure it's off. Just remember that these two things, when you put it back together, you have to line through the holes, otherwise they can get jammed. So then just get yourself a T, I think it's T4, this one, T4 by 40 millimeters. And providing it's off, you can uh, start taking these four screws off. Now, if you want to disconnect the battery first to be on the safe side, you literally just lift it up like so. I use toothpick. It doesn't push into place, it just put, it will go forward, it just lifts up towards me. So then you just take these four screws off, like so, it all comes apart. Now I have already had the battery out of this. So the battery is glued at the back and it is, it does take a bit of patience to get the battery off if you don't want to damage it. If you, if you don't mind damaging it, it'll come off easy. So you just lift that out and then the whole board will just, and the screws will fall off. Will come off like this now this battery has been off i'm going to take it off again but what i did i just got my trusty hair dryer okay and i warmed up this side very warm without damaging this label very warm yeah um and then what i did you need a bendy bit of plastic probably a bit thinner than this which you can bend and sort of gradually ease in like that and keep warming it and keep easing, go all the way around. I didn't go this way, I didn't want to damage this. And just keep going like that. And I'll do it a bit now, but it should just lift out now um, with a bit of luck, because it's already been out this battery. Now these batteries, they're about 80 pound delivered in the UK, which is really disappointing that we have to pay so much for a battery. Um, and I can't find, I can find the same specifications, but I can't find one with a connector the same as what OpenSpot use. They've got uh, red, yellow, and black wires. And uh, there's the specs there, 3.7 volts, 1200 milliamps. Nice, typical, you know, battery. Um, there's a close-up view there if you want to, that. Now, I'm guessing that you could buy one of these batteries and then solder, so you've got three solder points there, this cable, onto it but i'm not going to do that um, so anyway once you've got the battery off imagine this is a new battery then all you do it just fit very snug actually uh, i need to get it the right way around so you want the connector end at the flat end basically and just push it now because it's not a, bra a brand new battery i did have to sort of push it down a bit because batteries when you take these lcd type batteries that batteries out they do get a bit fat. And also, this is not a new battery. So the next thing you do, this is a fiddly bit, I don't know if I can do it all on camera, but, but rest it on top. Make sure you've got all your four, let's find my four screws, because one of them might be inside a minute. Yeah, got my four screws there. And then rest the board on top. Just remember the board is connected to the Wi-Fi, so just don't yank it. You could disconnect that, it just clips up the, the Wi-Fi connector, but I'd rather not. So we just get it around the face in the right way around. So you can see how it needs to just sort of rest on top. And what I'll do is I'll just rest it like that. And then I'll just line it or line up the four, the four holes where the screws were and just get those screws in before I push that connector back on. Okay, the board's on. I'm sort of holding the Wi-Fi board so I don't drop it because I want, want that connector to stay on. 
that that there is an ambi chip in it ambi 300 or 3000 it says there so that's what they say about the open spot 4 is that it has a 4 pro it has an ambi chip on board so then you just push it and look it, it came on when i pushed it on last time and it comes to life now it's such a shame that the battery has only lasted two years but i my advice is don't keep this on all the time only turn it on when you're actually using it because with normal hotspots you know we just leave them on don't we and because we just do there's no battery but with the open spot if you leave it on all of the time it's going to kill the battery and that goes for i think any device that you're charging for a couple of years eventually the battery is uh it's going to need changing because you can only have a certain amount of charge cycles so that's it all done the batteries are about 80 pound i'm going to put a link in um at the end of this video for to purchasing the battery from shark rf i'm also going to link in their instructions so you can follow them step by step as well bye for now thanks for watching my channel 73 here are the instructions from shark rf step one remove the lid step two lift the connector step three take the screws out step four lift the board carefully away from the battery step five Reassemble the device with a new battery. They do skip telling you that the battery is stuck down and you have to really heat it up to get it out and it, and it will bend the battery if you're not careful. But anyway, let's just find the link for purchase. So it says here buy, the link will be in the description. Click buy. I'm not sure how long they're going to still have these, so uh, let's have a look now. 52 euros. And put your billing addressing. Shipping is 23. So the actual battery price is fair. It's just the shipping and then the tax. Tax on that will be 20%. So 10% is £5. 20% is um, cool. £10.10, £10, 10, is it? £10.10 10 for 20%. So £62 delivered, but it will last you a couple of years. So 73, thanks for watching my channel and catch you on air. Bye for now.